Okay, so now that we've got the motor set up, we can start putting some code together. Now, on the side here, we've got some predetermined programs. A lot of them we can use with autonomous, but for now, because the first thing we want to do is drive this robot, we're going to play around with some of the remote control options. For basic driving, you've got two things you could do. Arcade control, which would use one of the thumb joysticks on the controller, or tank control, which uses both of the thumb joysticks. Most students, I find, like the tank control better, but feel free to use arcade. I'm going to grab tank control and drag it over. Now, because I've already set up my motors, it knows that the right and left side are going to be working with tank control. Now, I've got some numbers here, channel 3 and channel 2, and 10. So if you look at the top of your joystick, you'll see next to the two joystick buttons, there's a little plus sign with arrows on it. And one of the vertical ones says three, and on the other side it says two. So that's our channel three and two. If you look at the other way, it's one and four. So I've got my tank control on channel three, channel two, and I'm gonna bump that speed up to 100%. So that simple code there should run my robot. I should be able to drive it with that. So if you want at this point, we can go download to robot, give your file a name, and I don't know why I always ask for two names, but okay, we'll call this robot two. And then it's going to download to the robot settings going on here. There we go. I think just because I've got some extra files opened up, it wants me to save them. So we'll close that. And now that program is loaded onto the robot, um, and we should be able to drive it. Now the next thing that we want to do is take a look at using the joystick to control the claw and the lift. So over here I've got button control. I'll drag that over. And in button control, by default it's set to port 10. I'm going to set that to claw because it's going to be running my claw. And I've got button 5 up, button 5 down. If you look at the back of your controller, you see that the two buttons on the left hand side are labeled 5. Top button would be up, bottom button would be down. So that means button channel 5 up, button channel 5 down. And again, 75 is our speed. I'm going to grab the next button control, drop that in there. This is for the arm, so I'm going to go arm. And instead of having the arm and the claw on the same set of buttons, I'm going to go to the other side, which would be 6. So button 6 up and button 6 down. So now I've got button 6 for the arm and for the claw. If I download to robot again, now what I've got is my driver control program where with the remote I can drive the robot and pick the arm up and down. Close that window, it should pop back. And that is basic driver control.